Hello everyone, I'm Forty Taxi, and right behind me is my new 2x2 Plus farm. I'm in 1.16 and this farm is 353k logs per hour now because we have cost one million here. Okay, let me try to run it. Uh, let me change the voice from the game a little bit lower. We remember to put this stuff in here first, and then we can find the correct view, and we won't get stuck. Uh, it's super clean and laggy, and I don't know why. So. Both is the best to use this farm. Okay, so let's start to talk about this farm. And first, let me let us down to the detector here. It's a push limit detector, and after the tree grows, this slime block here will be pushed, and then and then this redstone block will move to here, move to to here and then the whole farm started working. These bud lines will transport the signal to to almost everywhere in the farm. And first is the double is the double side pulling here. Uh, we use a zero tick generator here and these two pistons will be powered at once and these these two blocks right here and here will be pulled back once. And then these observers power these pistons and pull the locks right to here and be pulled and pulled down then then it can push out of the farm. And for these two pistons right here and here oh these two logs. The first log will gain down and go to here. The the other log right here will get pulled after this person move this piston to here and it move to us to here now and this piston go back and get zero ticks and pull this log was here at six. Oh. oh man, my microphone has just it dropped. And after it gets here, this person gets zero ticked and pulled the this lock to here at six MT. Okay, now all the bottom locks have been harvested and. Now we will harvest the the upper all upper lots. Uh, it's really really huge. Because I want something stable and actually we but if we bought it the back business is super shit. Because it's just it have a they have a, such a fucking stabilist. Um, for example, the hmm. For example, the farm from Rhythm, uh, yeah, its bad persons are are budded, and if we, if somebody uh, just even just even just even just they they are not so careful and update this to bad persons oh my gosh so don't make these shit anymore bitch Oh. 
but at least we are very very lucky because we can simply update this system right here to fix all the sh all the shit problems okay now let's go back to my farm but as floppy says uh, if we have it's still better if we have this thing they need to fix if if someone was not careful so I'm still using I'm still using the restaurant redirection here and it gets updates from here and the the rest of us right here will change its signal strength after this RS block get pulled so that's it, that it can get updated normally these comparators here and this is cauldron after the piston move to here and actually it's not empowered and <coughs> and this piston right here can be can get pulled normally <coughs> and after six game tick these these comparators will be empowered and this piston will pull the locks we used we used to push the main locks out back and then just just the same thing as, like here okay now we now we need to crush the leaves so that we can keep AFK in um actually we the two the two the two stacks of leaf crushers here and there we use the sort of direction and signal strength changing to update the piston and we use a cake to generate a 14 strength signal and here after the restaurant block get pulled and this piston will get updated and also the restaurant redirection will power it so that it can pull and after this piston move to here it's actually budded so it can give a three game tick pulse nice and we have the same way to work here but we just give a everything strange powering here because we can use a rail here to update the piston uh, white we can't use here because if we don't make it with a with a full wall, the items might might drop like here, and even and also actually I uh, tried to update with piston at first, but after a little try, the items can can even be throw here, can even be throw here. Oh man, I can't throw it here. Wait a minute. Like, just like that. And this item can't be picked up. And also it gets stuck into the piston. So, so I gave up the, so I gave up the plan. Gave up the way to do that. Also, I don't know why. Even just a small hole like this, the items will still drop, drop on the iron block here. So, what the fuck is that? Mm. So, we finished talking about the core. Let me, let us talk about here, the wither chamber. For the middle, these two blocks will be pushed up to here and be pulled and be pushed go go forward here and to here and push down then get pushed into the chamber. 
for the others just a little it's just it's just pushed for more times because the love transport is so long so no need to take so much but actually the new thing in this video cage is not only the layout from Moral Lamp it's actually this thing here this idea is thinked by Lintex and we call it Smart Log Transport this clock right here will generate, a, will generate two game tick signal every four game tick and we can force the crossbar milling log output to the non crossbar milling just like the non crossbar milling and the possible bit the possible input will be forced to four game tick so that's the pit wither can always break all the blocks get into the cage okay now It's the hardest thing to make in this one. And also, it is the first time I make the Wither Cages. Uh, actually, not the first time, just the first time I successful. I succeeded. Um, so, I think I nearly talked done about this farm. And actually, the smart log transport including also including this clock right here and this clock right here so all of them is just to you just to make the with the cage safe and usable so why need to make it i think i actually said we, we made crossbow milling here and because actually crossbow milling can improve the rates to 353k logs per hour in 1.16 and so we made crossbow milling here and in the 1.12 save we didn't make crossbow milling but because I'm lazy to to make the timing in the, the bomb milling climbing in the core and here to keep in the same time so I just so I just so I didn't remove the small log transfer here it seems to delay it seems to always delay for two game tick to one bit drops hmm. Okay, so now all about this farm is done, and I will give you a small preview of my new 2x2 spruce farm. And it's here. It's also the. It will also be the fastest tree farm and the easiest 2x2 spruce farm in Minecraft. And we made this bottom log harvesting dust less already so that's also it's cross volume com stay compatible so just wait for it just wait for it don't be worried about it so this is all about this video Thanks for watching and sorry for my poor English. See you next time. Bye bye.